back, everyone, on a quiet and cooler Thursday morning. Looking out at a DODOT camera, this is an I-75 at State Route 81. Nice to see dry pavement. We have temperatures very comfortable in the low 60s. Winds are calm at the moment. As we take a look at the current temperatures, upper 50s to the northwest, 58 Pauline, 59 Defiance, 61 Lima, 61 in Wapakoneta. We have 63 in Bell Fountain as well as upper Sandusky. Now looking at rainfall over the past 24 hours, boy, those storms yesterday, weren't they selective in coverage? Some spots had nothing at all. Other spots had some really hefty downpours. In fact, areas across Delphis, uh, Spencerville, Elida, nothing at all. Van Wert, you guys entirely stay dry. Then we have that storm move from Paulding through northern parts of Putnam County across northern Hancock County with some localized totals over an inch. Then we also see down to the south, I had a report of about three quarters of an inch in Waynesville. And then just uh, kind of there around Indian Lake, we had estimates, estim estimates by the radar here of about an inch and a half and almost two inches there around Arlington as you see in southern Hancock County. So a wide variety, and this is common. As you get into the summertime, often those storms are often hit and miss in nature. You can go from a lot of rain to nothing in just a span of a mile or two. Looking at the radar this morning, there are clouds, a couple showers to our west, but these are light and spotty, not going to be too impressive for us. Also wanted to briefly mention that we're starting the hurricane season, officially began yesterday, June 1st. The remnants of what was Hurricane Agatha in the eastern Pacific now working in uh, as a, just kind of an area of thunderstorms that could become a named system. And if it does get a name, it'll be called uh, Alex here in the next couple of days. There's 80% chance now of development moving its way from the Yucatan Peninsula, Peninsula there into the Gulf of Mexico, and it will bring heavy rain to southern Florida this weekend. No impact for us. As we take a look at our weather here closer to home, you can see those clouds around this morning. There will be the chance for a couple spotty showers through lunchtime, and then the skies will brighten up more and more as the afternoon goes on. We're going to enjoy some beautiful weather as we head into tonight and tomorrow, looking at mostly sunny skies. Just a few clouds bubbling up tomorrow afternoon, but overall, we're going to see plenty of sunshine. We're expecting highs tomorrow in the upper 70s. Looking at your weekend forecast, 75 on Saturday, and then a little warmer on Sunday, up to 80. But right now, it still looks like we're on tap for a dry weekend. So that is great news. A great weekend to go camping or any outdoor activities that you may have planned here. It looks like, though, our best chance of rain will come back on Monday. Showers and storms appear rel relatively likely. And then we'll have some more shower chances later in the week. But temperature is pretty comfortable. Highs mainly into the 70s.